examples to dive into and check out. And we're starting off with uh, some Warcry with the Scions of the Flame Warband, which is one of the newer warbands for Warhammer Underworlds, which has been painted up by Ko Johan uh, as part of our uh, project system. Uh, so these are some excellent, uh, excellently painted and photographed miniatures. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, put in place alongside some of the stunning terrain that you get as part of the uh, Warcry selection as well, which is very cool. Mm -hmm. So I really like these because they kind of like followed the scheme that you see from their rule book, almost like pretty on point. Like they look like the sort of design on studio images. Yeah, yeah, which is very, very cool. Uh, but of course, uh, I had to give props to these simply because they just look so awesome. And those little bit of flame effects and stuff on the the uh, different models just look fantastic. And I love how in places you can see the glow effect that's been worked into the miniatures as well. And also, anyone who photographs really awesome little scenes like this, which look like they could have been taken from White Dwarf or something, mm -hmm. they immediately get like a thumbs up from me. Uh, because it reminds me of reading the comic, not the comic, the magazine when I was younger and really enjoying it and getting involved with it. It's so cool. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, but Bill's yeah. getting smashed. Fantastic looking little uh, project showing off some of the sort of uh, miniatures that have been painted up here as well. And there is this sort of like a little bit of a breakdown of how some of them came together as well, which is really nice to see too. Wow. So, so does he to say how he goes about it? It looks like it's contrasts and then possibly wet blending with the contrasts. It might be. Uh, Certainly, the the blue scaly cloak has that sort of does have that sheen to yeah. it, doesn't it? Yeah, but um, that has a whole really nice little sort of collection of miniatures that have been painted up, and I thought it was nice to see them done Ooh, with that um, attempt. Source lighting yeah, as well. Yeah, there's the the source lighting on the back. So I was saying, it's very cool. Talented, talented individual in it. Yeah. Wow. Um, uh, but yeah, I also really like the way the um, the basing have been done as well try to make it look a little bit different, sort of give it that idea of that kind of chaos realm with that kind of dark slabbed floor and stuff as well, which is really nice. So it kind of makes them fit into the idea of a catacomb and sort of fighting underground as well as being overground as well, which is really good to see. Yeah. So I want um, to know what the progress is taking on. Is this like a mobile phone? Because if it is, these are smashing photos. They are very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're taking pictures of as long as the photos are huge. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. Yeah. But I, the, the thing that's the thing that's quite interesting when you actually look at the me. like how it's all come together is that while effectively a lot of this is just base coats, yeah, there's just been just enough um, highlighting and shading done in different places to make it really pop, hmm. which I well, think is really cool. So, if you look at the fire, it's actually been highlighted right up until white, yeah, which, which is, is really something nice. I would never bother doing. Is highlighting white on my fire, and it, and it's. I think it's that's a good idea because that's the thing that's going to draw the eye to the miniatures. So making a lot, making a big deal of the fire makes like a, a good, uh, good, yeah. good deal of sense. So because in contrast, the metallics haven't had a huge amount done on them, but it's all the highlighting that's been done on the flesh and on the clothes fire that yeah. set them off. So you don't need to because even if you look at the ones that have got the sort of coppery armor or even the copper pots there, um, there's not a huge amount of of highlighting done on it. Mm. So the, the metallics seem, the metallics photograph well anyway because they reflect yeah. a lot of the light. Mm -hmm. So the time and effort's been put in on the things that wouldn't mm -hmm. reflect back or wouldn't yeah. catch the, the light in the place. I like how it's all sort of been blended together in the fire into that sort of larger berserker fellow as well on the, on the left too. It's really awesome. Very, very cool indeed. And it, again, is one of these things that is making me really interested in maybe playing some Warcry or some Warhammer Underworlds or something. So <laughs> I, I, I reviewed the Soulbound RPG this week and I'm still mm -hmm. like in the mindset of, it would be really awesome to do some stuff in the mortal realms that isn't a mass battle game. Uh, anything other than that would be great. So <laughs> I downloaded um, or, or, or purchased an audible audio book of one of the children boys mm -hmm. in the AOS universe. Cause um, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. boys uh, were in with me the other night and um, I, I didn't want them watching 